Hey guys, welcome back to Day Day 2K GM Mode. Tonight, kicking off the show, the Undisputed Era come out and gloat following their huge week last week, winning the NXT Tag Team titles while also scoring a huge win over the NXT Champion Jeff Cobb. Roderick Strong states that now that he knows he can beat Jeff Cobb, he wants William Regal to forget about Karrion Cross and give him a shot at the NXT Championship, and he wants that match right away. William Regal then interrupts and clarifies, yes, Roderick Strong did earn a shot at the NXT Championship, but Karen Cross is entitled to a NXT Championship match as well, so he creates a simple solution. Next week, Jeff Cobb will defend the NXT Championship against Roderick Strong and should we have a new champion, it will be a triple threat at NXT TakeOver War Games. And now for our first match, we face the facts. Kurt Hawkins collides with Kofi Kingston of The New Day. And NXT has a brand new fact, putting them even further ahead of Raw. Yeah, no, there, there's really not much to say about what just happened. Kofi Kingston practically killed Hawkins just then and seemed pretty happy about it. Kofi Kingston is still a competitor in the King of the Ring tournament, it, it, this just wasn't a tournament match. And it, let's, let's just move on now. Next we've got women's action as Tegan Knox. Accompanied by Tony Storm and Kaylee Ray, takes on Peyton Royce. Accompanied by Billy Kay, Peyton Royce would fly out of the gate, taking the fight to a surprised Tegan Knox. Tegan would be able to evade a spear attempt from Peyton leapfrogging over Royce before dragging her up to her feet and clocking her with an enziguri. Royce would be able to flip out of a half-and-half -half suplex, stunning Tegan before catching her with a snap suplex. Royce would flatten Knox with a spinning heel kick on the button before going straight to the cover. This would produce a near fall. Knox would start to come back before hitting a bridging fall away slam and rushing into the cover. This would be able to put away a tired Peyton Royce. Tegan Knox has picked up the victory here tonight, continuing Beauty Strong Styles' win streak. But after the match, somebody would come out and stand beside the Iconics. It's all about me. Emma has returned, joining forces with the Iconics and helping to lay out all three members of Beauty Strong Style. Next, Charlotte, Lacey, and Casty are all seen in a room together, self-reflecting amongst themselves, trying to get back onto the same page. Rather than speak amongst themselves peacefully, this is a screaming match. In the end, the inevitable happens. All three women stand up and walk away from each other. Up next, Alexa Bliss, notably without Nikki Cross due to Cross being injured, takes on one half of the women's tag team champions, Melandra Allen, who is accompanied by Absolution. Alexa Bliss would try to gain the upper hand early and wear Melandra down by targeting the arm. 
but Alan would begin striking Bliss in the ribs and gathering control for herself. Melandra would attempt to target Alexa's arm, but Alexa would be able to take Melandra down with an arm drag, following it up afterwards by simply slamming Alan down to the mat. The match would be an even 50-50 contest until Melandra would start to get into a rhythm, beginning to dominate against the former women's champion. Melandra would end up putting an end to this match with a tombstone lung blower, once again damaging Alexa's ribs and earning herself the three count. Melandra Allen is victorious tonight over Alexa Bliss, and after the match, Absolution would pin Alexa down, telling Candice LeRae that if she doesn't come out now, Alexa will be broken in half. Candice would then come out with Beauty Strong style, where as they attempt to make their way down, the Iconics would come out from behind, catching the Alliance by surprise, leading to an all-out war between the three groups. William Regal would interrupt the brawl immediately, stating that there is only one way to solve this issue between the three teams and Candice LeRae. War Games! Next, in a very simple promo package, we see a man in a fur coat with the hood up. The man pulls down the hood, introducing himself as Hugh Elliott, stating that he is the newest signee to NXT. Next, we have a massive contest as the game Triple H steps into the ring up against one of the contenders to the NXT Championship, Karrion Cross. Cross would begin the match by utterly dominating Triple H, taking the future Hall of Famer to the limit. Karrion would fire off a kick to Triple H's lower back, and this would fire the game up. Triple H would begin to take over the match, bringing the fight to Cross as he hoped to avoid Doomsday. Triple H would hit a sickening spine buster on Karrion Cross, and smelling blood in the water, he would quickly follow it up, kicking Cross in the gut and then hooking the arms before landing a pedigree. Rolling him over, Triple H would go for the cover, but the referee would barely get their hand down for two before Cross would kick out. Triple H would Irish whip Cross, but Cross's massive frame would knock out the ref before Triple H would take Cross down with a knee to the jaw. During a momentary pause of shock from Triple H, Cross would pop back up to his feet and hit a flying knee of his own. Cross would hook Triple H's waist before tossing him with a Doomsday Saito, causing the game to land on his neck. This would leave him unable to respond to the three count.
Karen Cross is victorious ahead of the next week where he will find out if he has to face both Roderick Strong and Jeff Cobb at NXT TakeOver War Games for the NXT title. With Cross having used Option C to gain a NXT title match, will he be able to make the most of this chance? We won't have time to ponder this question because CM Punk would rush into an assault. Which X-Pac rushes out to make the save for, sending Punk on the run. But Batista would then ambush X-Pac from behind, thus joining forces with a C M Punk. Next we have breaking news as William Rio has announced that since the X Division Championship is vacant, a new champion will be determined inside the Elimination Chamber at War Games, in which Jay White has already qualified. Next we have our first featured match as Dominic Dijakovic looks to pick up a win against the million dollar champion Hercules' son. Will Dijakovic be able to get on the winning path tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to get this match started. The Kansas City fans have always been so passionate and guys, this one is no different as we get started here. A well-aimed strike. Oh, foot just stomping down. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. Oh, able to counter. Two. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Three. He might have been waiting on that one. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. Let's you should go with him, Byron. Oh, and he slammed his face right into the barricade. Six. Seven. DDT. Planet. He's getting a little batter now. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Eight. Oh, uh, I think we're going to see it, gentlemen. There it comes. Nine. Back in the ring again. Wow, that was close. Come on, he knew what he was doing the whole time. Drop kick right on point. Cravat locked in. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. You are watching NXT as the WWE searches for its next breakout superstar. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. He evades the attack. Back in the ring now. Certainly cutting it close, though, Michael. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. One. Cravat locked in. Neckbreaker. Two. Three. Had it scouted. Close line to the back of the neck. this methodical pace benefit gets him with a counter wow what a here it comes stay away from the worm single leg boston crab cinched in fighting for survival whoa he, he works his way out setting it up nice neck breaker Now in full control. Running power 
slam. He's starting to struggle here. Now he's looking off his get. Can he score the pin? They kick out. This one's not over yet. How in the world? Ooh. And a pin attempt. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. He's not going to like this. We're about to see. Good night. Huge turning point right here. That should do it, Cole. And the pitfall gets him the win. Hercules Sutton has decimated Dominic Dijakovic with his patented shoot. With another victory under the belt of the gold-blooded monster, is Hercules looking for a rematch against Ryback? Or is he perhaps looking towards the Royal Rumble match instead, where he can potentially main event WrestleMania? Up next we have tag team action as the former champions, America's Most Wanted, Robert Roode and James Storm, take on Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, DIY and what is sure to be a tag team clinic as both teams look to become the number one contenders. All right, we're ready to kick this one off. And you can't sleep on the veteran, the glorious one, Robert Roode. This is a man who's been around the block more than a time or two. Roode's veteran expertise mixed with his desire to be the center of attention allows him to turn extremely vicious at the drop of a hat. Hook them. DDT! Whoa, Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Comes in off the tag. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Hellacious power slam. Check out Brood's offense. Oh my god. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Line. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Uh-oh, submission move. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Cole, me surprise, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Oh, and then it's Brew with the offense. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Slam down hard. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. Ooh, what a damaging blow. In off the tag. Big reversal. Oh, hey, it's Johnny Super Kick. Comes in off the tag. Oh, rock kick. Tough spot to be in. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. Try for it early. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Tagged in. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German! And continuing to... 
He may be in a bad way here. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. What have we got here? Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. Almost there. So cold, so close. Keep going. Come on. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, and the rolling next snap. Gargano dodged that one. A jumping reverse FTO. Ah, look at this. Spinning arm breaker. He's in a little bit of trouble now. That can't be enough, can it? Rude pops the shoulder up. Not yet. He weaves out of the way. Uh-oh. Oh, it's locked in. The cross face. Hold it. And breaks the hold. Up into the fireman's carry. And struggling to get to the corner here. Might not make it, Michael. Up oh, man. He's going for the pin. Johnny Gargano forces the shoulder up. He's not giving up that easy. Punch finds its mark. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. Oh, he's almost there. And his partner's just itching to get in the ring right now. Able to get the tag. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. From the top! We might just see it here. And this crowd's starting to perk up, Michael. And he gets there. Oh, yeah! Here we go! Boom! Did you hear the impact? Stomping down! Get to the gut. What's next? All the way up. Crucifix! Oh, boy. Oh, boy! That should do it right there. Oh, somehow! Champa's black heart keeps beating as he somehow stays in this match. Impressive strike combination. Oh, right to the throat. He has become relentless at this point. He is getting fired up here. Heavy duty right hand. And Tommaso check. A Donald stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Wow. Quick roll up. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Effectively using the knee. Escapes in a nick of time. And look at from back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, right to the throat. Bang right in the face. Good golly, what a knee. Uh-oh. What throw? Time to end this. Face Buster. So glad. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And he's able to get out. Wow. Hard right, right hands. Punch after punch after punch. Kick to the gut. 
What's next? All the way up. Crucifix. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You got Tommaso Ciampa taking full advantage. Nice sit-out powerbomb. This match grinded him down a little. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. And here we go, Tommaso Ciampa with the cover. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. It's way too early. Oh, he knew that was coming. Oh, oh man. Ooh, right to the throat. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. And, and this has got to be it. And there's the save. What's he going to do with it? He's taking it up top. Atomic. Whoa. Big body splash. Well, Tommaso Ciampa is on the attack now. Big knee. Single arm, back body drop. That takes power. Not showing much fight here. Yeah, he looks absolutely out of it, Cole. Cole pulled on the elbow on the back of the neck. Doesn't get much better than that. Johnny Gargano looks like he's really struggling under this pressure. Oh, he just got his finished. I can't say I expected to see this tonight. It's not every day you see a guy as talented as him take such a beating. Gargano needs to harness the energy from the crowd and get back on the right side of this battle. He needs to get off his back and fight. We got a cover. the suplex. from the floor. Trying to go for it again. Down with a face buster. And we are done here. How much more can they... He may get the three count right here. This is it. You need to near fall. That kickout chose the heart of Johnny Wrestling. He will not quit. Gargano dodged that one. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Showing such creativity. Set up for the front leg sweep. Nicely done. on its way from Johnny Wrestling. Oh, on the apron! He's in a bad way, guys. If he could just make it to his corner, these guys still have a chance. 
But if not, I don't see how he can overcome all this punishment and win. Wasn't expecting that. Ooh, right to the throat. Oh, bell clap. Well scouted reversal there. Ah, step up in Zagari. Right in the ear. Oh, flipping the script on him there. In leg sweep. gets back into the ring. There is no way he was going to get counted out there, Michael. In off the tag. Kick to the gut. And, oh, oh a brutal form. And in what would end up being rated a five-star matchup by our internal rating team, America's Most Wanted is victorious and have earned their chance to reclaim the NXT Tag Team Championships. Will Rude and Storm be able to reclaim the titles they lost all too soon? Or will the current champions remain undisputed? And finally, we have a qualifying match for the X Division Elimination Chamber match at War Games with the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman, colliding with the Rated R Superstar Edge in our main event. Which of these two will qualify for a shot at the X Division Championship?
Braun Strowman has qualified for the Elimination Chamber match. With the absolute powerhouse that is the monster among men now entering the fray, are we perhaps looking at the next X Division Champion? And with that, this week's edition of NXT comes to a close. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you are new here and you want to see more Day Day 2K GM mode or just more content from me in general, hit that subscribe button. I do not know when week 34 will be coming out, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know. If you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, you want to follow my Twitch account, or join my subreddit, links are all in the description down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.